Okay, just want to go over a little difference, difference between flexibility and mobility if you're not quite sure what the difference is. Uh, we think of traditional flexibility, I might get into a stretch like this, turn to the point I feel a decent stretch, hold usually a minimum 30 seconds on to, on, on to 60 seconds, somewhere between 30 to 60 seconds. Then I may switch, I may hit a different position, a little higher up, hit a little bit different uh, part of the chest muscle, the pec muscle in this case, and there again, hold 30 to 60 seconds. And I may do the same thing for all my various muscles, at least the ones I want to hit at that time. Um, mobility is flexibility in motion. Flexibility, I take my arm, through its full range of motion, I'm demonstrating mobility. So, mobility is flexibility in motion, motion of your joints, and it can do various motions. When we walk and we think of somebody who has a nice long full stride, as opposed to somebody is, you know, maybe quite older who maybe shuffles, we say they've lost the mobility. So mobility in that case would be able to take a longer, more natural stride. Um, but uh, one of the tools, this for example, we're talking shoulder, I like to do is any Indian club. And uh, so I'll cross center line here. And I've done these off, I've done these for years, probably the late 2000s. And this is a simple one pound club. Um, this is a two pound wooden club that, I, if I'm not mistaken, was actually made in India. And, you know, the story is um, late 1800s, some of the British soldiers brought these back to uh, England from their time spent in India. And you know they kind of made it over here, and they were actually, you know, about uh, the 1900 era gymnasium. You would find a lot of gymnastics equipment. You'd find a little bit of weight equipment, um, but you'd also you might find some kettlebells. Believe it or not, pick this up if you can't see. And you would find Indian clubs or various uh, clubs of uh, you know, different weights or similar to maces. So that was a part, you know, the club is probably one of the earliest forms, the weighted club is probably one of the earliest forms of physical training that, that we know of, you know, obviously including, you know, that also includes wrestling, wrestling gymnastics and so forth. Um, but that's just kind of a simple, I do a shoulder circle, I'm working on mobility and obviously the larger circle I go through the more mobility I have or I'm demonstrating or I'm training but you know uh, mobility is just the uh, flexibility in motion with a little bit of coordination and strength included and another some tools I also like to use with that is stick mobility and basically I think they're fiberglass and they're very strong material with a little bit of flex. So for example, you know, uh, range of motion, we're talking about shoulder. Oftentimes, if you want to look at somebody's range of motion, ideally they can go straight up overhead without arching their back. And if they, you know, if you have to arch your back, then that's not all your shoulder motion, but you know, I'll say a lot of people past a certain age, maybe this is all the further they have. One way to train that would be like the, the sticks here. I would bend over to this point, to this point I feel a good stretch. And I may hold that stretch for say 10 seconds. And after that, I'm gonna uh, do a nice measure. I'm gonna push the sticks into the ground with about 20, 25% effort, perceived effort. You know, there again, hold five to ten seconds. Relax. Now I go a little deeper into the stretch. There again, hold approximately ten seconds. And again, somewhere between twenty to thirty percent isometric effort. 
to build strength in that range, the end range of motion. If you want to improve flexibility, getting strong at your end range of motion here is a good way to do it. Obviously, yeah, if you lift your weights through the full range of motion, you can do that. But if you're lacking that ability, then some of these uh, the tricks here, stick mobility, Indian clubs, you know, or even uh, um, TRX, I love the TRX for stretching. They're, they're, yes, it's a bodyweight strengthening tool, but I, I, I think it's an awesome uh, stretching tool as well, and I'll show you that another time. But just a simple way to understand the difference between flexibility and mobility, we need both, we, you, sh you should have both. But you don't want to just be flexible. You want to be flexible and strong at the same time. You want to, you know, think of a spring. You know, we want a little bit of stiffness in that spring. We don't just want a loose spring like a slinky. You know, we want some strength involved with that. And that's, to me, that's what mobility is, is uh, flexibility with a little bit of movement, control, and strength.